for that opportunity to implement a good deed, the person's qalb, his heart or her heart, they produce different effects or conditions or emotions. Different effects. Now, outwardly, you see that this person is implementing a good deed, a pious deed. But the deed itself is practiced externally, but internally it goes and produces an output internally, an effect, a condition. And the decisions of the hereafter for every individual will not be based on our external deeds and appearance. Rather, the appearance of that deed internally on our heart, that is what will create the decision uh, in the hereafter. For example, we practice something, we implement a deed, and... Due to practicing that deed, shaitan, he utilizes that deed and he makes us feel, that, ah, I've done this deed. And the effect is then produced on the heart. For example, a person implements a good deed, he has takabbur or ajab, pride, or he's showing off, or he's got um, some sort of status complex, or ajab. Or he feels that this is the deed I've done, a very good deed I've practiced, and he feels good, or he has pride and he shows off. So the condition externally is of the deed, but internally it goes and produces a negative effect on the heart. And so that is different. The internal state is different to the external state. The internal is different to the external. So Allah Ta'ala, for example, gives somebody status, knowledge status, or ilm, or... Uh, some any any t- type of status in terms of Islamically. So internally, that person then considers and thinks that ah, this was my right. I studied seven years, eight years studying ilm, knowledge. So it's my haq that I am an imam and I'm recognized and I'm successful. Or spiritually, a person says that I did a lot of mujahada, a lot of dhikr and adhkar and remembrance and it was my right that I would have been given this status. And so these feelings and emotions overcome a person. Definitely they come. So this, the, the situation is spoilt when it comes to the heart. So externally he's a big peer, sahab, he's a scholar, he's an alim, he's a mudarris. Yeah? He's a commentator. But internally he feels on the heart that this was my haq, this was my right. And it should have happened like this. I studied, I worked hard, I sweated. So internally that person's condition, it, it changes. And very easily this can be analyzed. If you take that status away from that person, for example, sheikh, a sheikh has given ijazah to the student. Or... Uh, you have a maqam, you've been given a maqam that you give a daras here or give a speech and then you take that away from the person, then what is the effect on the heart of that person? That's what we've got to assess. For example, a sheikh gives a jaza to a student, go to this locality and do the work of the deen. And for some reason, due to Allah Ta'ala's preference, Allah Ta'ala withdraws that responsibility. What at that time is the effect? If the person in both situations, whether he has that status or he doesn't, he is the same. Okay, my shaykh gave me the order to do this work. And when the work is stopped or taken it away, withdrawn, he has no difference in his... We are weak. Allah Ta'ala gives us na'ama. Allah gives us amal. Allah Ta'ala gives us amal. Once to say Allah is a great deed. So when a person does a good deed, and Allah gives the tawfiq to do that good deed. Then the feeling of the heart, as I said before, is that that amal should not go into the heart and become pride and showing off and I've got status. And it takes a person, those thoughts take a person from the good to the bad result. So the condition should be such that even if I have a small deed that I've implemented and it's coming to my heart and I want to create the good positive condition of my heart, then at that time we should have so much humility. So much should a person bow himself in the presence of Allah. Subhanallah, you gave me the opportunity to do this deed. I was not capable. How did I recite your name from my tongue, Allah? How can I do your dhikr? Look at me and look at your dhikr, Allah. In other words, from the deeds, a person, we understood those deeds to be weighty and high. In other words, Allah Ta'ala's name is so great, so great that Allah, that we cannot imagine. 
So a person, when he sits down with ease and he eats food to his fill and burps and he feels that he hasn't done nothing, Allah Ta'ala doesn't like this action that in his heart, he doesn't have that awareness. He doesn't understand, have the emotion that salah, I've given him salah, how I gave him jaza, how salah came. What is the reward? The first decision that we made is that this person didn't know how to pray salah, where he did his salah go, oh I just prayed. Or I just read salah. But these things are not the reality. It's not the physical outward effects that will be shown. It's the inner spiritual state of the heart that will take shape and form in the day of judgment. So this is the way a person should bow with humility. His heart should have humility, should be sincere and humble and have no desire for status or recognition. A person should be totally fana that was I qabil, was I, was I capable that Allah gave me this word? Was I capable that I could come to the masjid as a Shah Naqshband rahmatullahi alayhi?